At 297 right now, we are building cars. So every student really gets to choose from a box of random materials, literally ranging from old remote controls to plastic doodads and little toys and trinkets that they can kind of sculpt and use as part of their car. She just used like about two or three things because otherwise it's going to get too heavy and your car is going to sag. Do you hear me? In my art classes, you're going to learn about science and math and you're going to incorporate all these different elements of physics and science into the art making and it's all part of the education process and if speaking from my own personal experience, I'm a much more physical, hands-on learner and that's what I, those are the kind of memories that I enjoyed as a kid and that's kind of what I'm trying to bring to these students that give them something they can really engage in and be proud of. Here we go. All right. We are going to make two charts. Why don't you put your comic book away for now? The first chart is going to say distance, D-I-S-T. I want you to draw a little rectangle that looks like this. That's our center line. Then I want you to have a curved line to the right and a curved line to the left. So it looks like that. Go, 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 go! Seven feet and we went to the right. Whoa! We talked about force and energy and motion, so it ties in with the science unit in both second and third grade. We got to drive our cars and see how they would go, like see how, our, how we made our cars. And pretty much all of our cars went good. And we get to roll three times. I just straighten the wheels. The straighter they are, the farther it does roll. If they're crooked a little bit, it does definitely take speed off your car. So we got them straight and it went super awesome. One more roll for you. Let's see if it stays straight. At PS2097, we're trying to teach the students and the teachers and the school that it's possible to make art projects by reusing the materials around them. So when they're working with Greg, they're making projects out of leftover drinking straws and paper and stickers and all sorts of things that they might be able to find on their own. Mom, don't throw out the don't throw out the cardboard and the and the plastic because we could we could make something out of it. And don't throw out the buttons. Materials for the Arts is part of the New York City's Department of Cultural Affairs and we've been around since 1978 and you know, we've been picking up the stuff and giving it away for free and now we're giving it away to more and more people and more and more students in New York City are having the benefit of what we do. All this stuff that we have here, you've got this stuff in your house. It might not be big rolls of fabric, but artists that use this kind of stuff, we're always looking at our leftovers as our supplies. This is yours? This is truly amazing. All right. Let's... When students are allowed to learn through art, they are challenged and can express themselves in ways they never could before. And it's such a growing process for them and just so pivotal because not everybody is a study for a test type of learner. A lot of people have different ways of learning and so I just really want to tap into everybody's educational process.